Hey YouTube, this is Levi with Eastridge Outdoors, and I've got an unboxing for you today. Uh, obviously, you know, you clicked on it. This is, and you see it's kind of dirty. Everything I do is dirty. Uh, this is the new offering from Holtzman's. Uh, their new folder. Check this out. This is the peasant. Now I got gray and red. You got the H there. Red liner. This is G10 scales. The sweet clip with the H also. Now that the clip is the one thing that I don't care for. And it's not the clip itself. It's the fact that it's not reversible. Um, and this clip, if you see, not only is it not reversible, but you're not getting that shit off there. Um, or at least if you do, it's going to be difficult. You got to get up to those. And I think that is a 7, a T7 or a T6. Not positive. Obviously, I haven't gotten anything under it. I haven't tried that. Um, this thing is getting some weird coloring and frost. It is cold as shit. Hence the fire in the background. Uh, I think it's it's in the teens. I know that. But it's cold. So this thing's going to get some weird coloring on it. Um, but you've got the Gorilla logo. It's a stonewashed blade. On the top half. The bottom. Sorry about the hair. I got dogs. Uh, the bottom and pockets. <laughs> You got a bunch of pocket lint. I've been carrying this for a while. I'm unboxing, but it's I've had this for weeks. I freaking love it. Uh, okay, you got the Gorilla logo. You've got the stone wash at the top. And then, of course, the mirror polish. That doesn't translate very well because it's dark. You know, winter time, winter ish, fall. <laughs> you see all the cuts and stuff on my hands. But uh this thing is freaking amazing. Uh it's on ball bearings. If you can see how smooth that is. The lockup is amazing and super thin. If you saw my last unboxing of the uh, folder they had with the sheep's foot blade, um, you can see how thin that lockup is. It doesn't really translate to this knife so much. This one is smaller. Um, by uh, a little over two inches, I do believe, total. But yeah, smaller blade, smaller grip, different handle or a different shape handle this thing is awesome great edc it's got d2 steel uh it's total 6.45 inches it has a 2.67 inch blade we saw the gorilla logo look on this side It's just completely clean. Gorgeous, gorgeous little knife. But anyway, back to the specs. Uh, 2.67 inch blade. The handle, 3.78. It's a, uh, honestly, it doesn't list the grind. I'm not sure. I'm going to call it a saber. Uh, it's very close to the saber line. It's very saberish. <laughs> Uh, obviously, it's a drop point, but it's not a super steep drop point. It's got a nice belly. This thing is a freaking slicer, guys. It is super sharp, straight out of the box, and it handles its edge extremely well. There you see the D2. <laughs> Blow the lint off of it, sorry. But yeah, D2 still. And, uh, yeah, like I was saying, this thing... 
we'll do some cutting. It's done everything I've asked so far. You know, it's an EDC. It's a pocket knife. So I don't do anything crazy with it. You know, I'm not batoning wood. <laughs> I'm not chopping down branches, anything like that. Uh, but anything else, <laughs> you want to open a package, open it with this bad boy. Because it is sweet. And then, uh, you know, cordage, whatever you use your knife for. I do my fingernails with it. You know, let me see. I do terrible job. I get them way too short because I don't want to do it very often. But anyway, I, I do pocket knife shit with a pocket knife because I'm a pocket knife guy. So if you need to cut it, it'll cut. And uh, it is 105 grams. I don't know why it's listed that way. I didn't weigh it in ounces. Do the math or conversion chart, you know, Google it. It'll tell you exactly how much in ounces if you're an ounce guy. It rides on ceramic ball bearings. And you can tell this thing is freaking sweet. I actually tightened this a little bit because it was too smooth. If that's the thing, it was too smooth. Um, it scared me to depress this and drop it down. Thank God for the thumb stud. But now you see it, it catches kind of. I didn't did that intentionally because it was just way too smooth. I assumed, you know, you see my hands. I've got lots of cuts, nicks, wounds. I'm a dude. I do man stuff with my man hands. And so this would cut me. I know it would. It was too smooth for me. I'm too careless for something like that. So uh, I tightened it. I kind of over tightened it. But hey, kudos to you, Holtzman. You know, Nate, if you're listening, that just tells you how great this is. Because I'm a knife guy. You know, I handle knives every day, all day. I do reviews. I have a knife channel, basically. Um, yeah, I'm a knife guy. And that thing was too smooth for me to feel like I wasn't going to cut myself. So, yeah. Good job, Nate. Uh, but back to it. It's uh, ceramic ball bearings. And uh, the HRC they list is 59 to 61. Uh, perfect, perfect range, you know. It's not going to snap for being too brittle. Don't screwdriver, you know. Don't be one of those guys. You will break your tip. I don't care what knife it is. You will break your tip if you try to use it as a screwdriver. But, uh, you know, it's perfect EDs. Well, Perfect hardness, in my opinion. You know, I'm not looking for a 67 or a 65. I don't want a super hard knife, brittle as could be, that will keep its edge for eternity. Uh, what's the point? I want to be able to beat my knife. I use them. I abuse them. And, uh, yeah, so right at 59 is what I'm looking for. And this is perfect. D2, if you don't know, it's a tool steel. Um, so it's made... I mean, it was literally designed to be abused. Uh, in the box, you have, of course, your thank you card and your silica. Keep the moisture out. Got a nice little cleaning cloth. I don't think I showed this in the last one, really. Um, I <laughs> honestly haven't opened one. But these come in all the folders. And uh, it's probably microfiber. You know, I've never really looked into it. My knives, if I can't clean it off with my shirt, what's the use? I'm a dude. And so, uh, you know, that is what it is. But there's that type out there. The, the business gentleman, you know, he wants a clean knife. That's what this is for also. The businessman, you know, the guy who can't carry a clip on his suit. He doesn't want everybody to know. Or it's just plain frowned upon, you know, in your office, whatever. So you've got this sweet case. <laughs> the first time I did this review, I was like, what is this for? It's a waste of... But anyway, yeah, this is for the guy that can't carry a clip, who can't have his knife showing. 
or storage, obviously. But you've got the sweet liner. Um, <laughs> for some reason, the word has escaped me. Um, it's an every outdoor jacket, just about. Fleece, there we go. Yeah, fleece liner. Uh, you got the rubber elastic band. Put the knife in it just to kind of show you. Man, this band is very flush. I haven't even, you know, this review is the first time I've actually messed with this case. But yeah, it is, it is tight. So, you know, these things will stretch over time, but right now it's, <laughs> it's super tight. So, you know, you've got your little case for storage, or if you can't have your clip showing, whatever. And then it also comes with this whetstone. Now, I've used the one out of the other one. You've got a 400 and a 1,000 grit side. Um, I've used both sides. I used it with the other knife, um, or used the one from the other knife that I had, the other folder, because all the folders also come with this, along with the case and this. Um, great packaging amazing job with the uh you know the whole gift box type thing most knives i buy come in either a cardboard box and the knife is wrapped in plastic which this one is as well this is a sign of a high carbon steel they're going to wrap it in plastic it's going to be oiled it's going to look gross when you get it you wipe that off take the plastic off um, but if you have a high carbon knife, it's going to come like that if they care about their knife. If it doesn't come like that, chances are it's going to get rusted, you know, from sitting in storage. Um, that oil only lasts for so long, especially if you don't coat it, you know, or I mean, cover it like that. And so every Holtzman folder that I've seen so far comes with the cloth, with the case, and with the um, stone there. And the one I use from the Sheep's Foot Blade. I don't know what that one was called. Um, yep, I can't think of it right off, right off the top of my head. But each one has a name. There's three different styles so far. There's the peasant, this one, which is the smallest. Uh, the first one I had with the sheep's foot um, was the very first folder he came out with. And then he has one called the straight back, which is the size of the other one with obviously a straight back blade uh it's a drop point but anyway uh you know i tried the other stone and i soaked mine in water you know water oil whatever you choose go with one and stick with it do not go back and forth but i chose water and uh, it did a great job i sharpened several knives on it you know you got your 400 grit which will fix just about any chip. It might take some time, a stone that size, but um, it will fix any chip, any damage that you can do out in the field. And then the thousand grit is plenty for a razor edge. Um, it will shave with a thousand grit. Now, when I do my serious sharpening, I go up, I think I've got 8,000 is my high stone, and that's ridiculous. Nobody needs <laughs> nobody needs an eight thousand grit stone unless you are a knife connoisseur. Not even a knife dude, a knife connoisseur. I don't need an eight thousand grit stone. I've got a three thousand grit as well, and that is like it feels like this, and it, <laughs> it's actually this color. But literally, it feels like that. It is so freaking fine, and that eight thousand grit is like silky almost um but anyway the thousand grit stone for every day for a razor sharp edge the thousand grit is plenty and the 400 will ch fix any damage you've got and so kudos holtzman for such great packaging for such a great product i can't say enough about them i'll put a link to uh all 
the folders and his website in, in the uh, description there. But I can't say enough about these guys. And I want to say, the one last thing I want to say about this knife, the way I got it. Um, the first folder I did a review on, the first one I bought, I was, I work on a farm. Well, I live on a farm. And so I was crossing the fence and my clip snagged the fence. Well, I didn't notice it and I jumped down and it was, you know, clip versus stitching slash fencing slash a little bit of everything and the clip lost and it snapped, uh, snapped clean. It just bent it way too far. And, uh, so I sent Nate a picture. Nate owns Holtzman's. I sent him a picture, and uh, before I could even type the message out of what happened, he sent me a message back that said, uh, I've got a new knife on the way. I'll send you a brand new knife. And so I sent him a message back. Well, after I finished typing the one I was trying to send with what had happened, I sent it and then immediately followed it with, that's too much. You know, if you've got a clip lying around, just send me the clip. I'll replace it. I'm good to go. And, uh, you know, I'm at fault. I wouldn't, honestly, I don't expect anything. I just wanted to let him know what had happened and that it had broken. And maybe he could get a stronger clip, whatever, you know. And, uh, yeah, he said he'd send me a new knife. And so I, I told him too much. Well, he did it anyway. He sent this knife, and he sent their new scalpel neck knife. Uh, check out my other reviews. I've got an unboxing of that one. Sweet little knife. Uh, if you like knackers, man, it's the slimmest profile I've ever seen on a neck knife. It's amazing. You must have one. If you like neck knives, then you don't have a neck knife until you have that neck knife. And he sent me both. Just to replace a clip, a broken clip that I broke, you know, um, that that what I, is what I consider abuse. You know, the everyday shit, like if something happened, if the bearings were screwed up, if it, the clip fell off, um, the blade was crap, anything like that, I would expect him to replace my knife. But something I did because I wasn't paying attention, I was being sloppy. And he was still willing not only to replace the clip. Uh, he gave me a whole new knife. Well, two new knives. He sent me like a hundred and something dollars worth of stuff. Because I had a broken clip. You talk about customer service, guys. That's insane. Um, Ontario. Take a freaking note, guys. I had an issue with Ontario. Uh, I bought the three and the five. The rat three, the rat five. And both edges were garbage. I mean, it was weird. I've never seen anything quite like it. But basically, the edge started on one side of the knife and finished on the other. The long story short, and I had some other issues, but those were the, that was the major thing. You know, if you can't get your edge right, you shouldn't be a knife company. And so I messaged them literally the second I had an issue and took pictures sent them several pictures um a whole description of what happened it took them a week to even get back to me just with a question they got back to me with a question not even a solution nate within a matter of 30 seconds had a complete solution he had a new knife ready to come at me and <laughs> he's such a cool dude that I complained that that was too much, so he sent me more. Uh, if you're not buying Holtzman's products, you're missing out. They've got amazing products. These folders are new to the line, and they're fantastic. By far the best quality I've ever seen in a folder. Um, and I've had high-dollar folders, guys. I won't buy a high-dollar folder anymore, but I've had them, and this beats... $300 knives that I've owned. Um, my carry today, you know, out here in the woods, nice and cold, is this sweet bad boy, which is also just happens to be a Holtzman. And it's not because I'm doing this video. It's because it's a badass knife because I freaking love it. 
This is the bloodline. Uh, it doesn't come with this lanyard. I did that. I like a pinky lanyard. This is a good chopper. It's uh, what I would consider a minimum for a chopper, but this thing will chop. As you can see, I've obviously made it my own. Um, if I get close, there you go. There's that Gorilla logo. You can see 1095. This thing is freaking sweet, guys. Fit and finish is absolutely flawless. Uh, it does come with a complete black coating. And uh, I did this. This is my ferro rod notch. The black coating I removed because, obviously, I'm a back-of-the-knife ferro rod guy. And so this thing, just like an SE or that crap company Ontario, they put these coatings on and you can't strike a ferro rod. I mean, it, it, it throws spark, but it ain't worth a shit, to be honest. You know, I'm, I'm a ferro rod guy. And so I'm used to a, I'm, I throw fireworks with my knives. So I put a certain type of edge, you know, a certain edge on my spine. You can see that is fatwood. This fire was started with this knife, the one in the background there. But, um, yeah, this thing is freaking amazing. And so I took the coating off just to put that, uh, get that flame, that really good spark going. And then this is something I wanted to try. And uh, I thought, why not one of my favorite knives? And so, yeah, I did it to this one. Uh, there's actually a... Uh, you know, that Rat 5. I redid those knives, the Rat 3, the Rat 5. They're great knives now. But that took hours of work. And if you don't know what you're doing, then you're wasting your time. You're going to fuck your knife up. But yeah, it took hours to fix the edge, to do everything I wanted to, to that knife, and make it secure. Uh, one of the issues I had was a <laughs> screw popped out the first time I used it. The first time i used it that's crazy right so yeah screw flew out in the middle of freaking woods <laughs> who knows where that's at and uh so i had to figure out a, an alternative the response in case you were wondering after a week was what type of screw guys you don't know what type of screw you put in your own freaking knife then something's freaking wrong um but yeah that knife is great now, and that little notch is something I want to do to it, too. Uh, I mean, I redid the whole knife. I mean, it looks similar to a rat, but it's not. It's a completely different grind now. The edge is corrected. Um, I had to do some ingenuity, is what I'll call it, to the handle, you know, to the scales, to, in order to compensate for not having another screw. And not wanting to buy one. Uh, so yeah. Check out that review. I, I, uh, if you want if you're curious about the rats. I've got a couple of reviews. You know or a, uh, a review. Or a, a pissed off rant. I don't know what you want to call it. And an update. Uh, on those rats. So check those out if you're interested. But that's all I got on this Holtzman. I got off subject for a minute. As you can tell, I'm a little aggravated about the way Ontario handled that and uh, just the quality I got from them. And Holtzman's really amplified that by giving me such an amazing product and handling customer service in such an amazing way. Good job, Nate, man. Uh, it is a family-owned small business. The dude has a day job, guys. Uh, you know, he's not this big ass corporation. The dude has a day job. There's times where I'm talking to him and he's like, sorry, it took so long. You know, I'm at work uh, at my day job. And, you know, I respect that. This is something he does in his spare time. He was an outdoorsman just like us. And uh, he wanted the best knife he could make. And so he did. He made it. And, uh kudos for you for that man so check them out holtzman's if you don't know them get to because you're gonna love it if you do know them let me know what you think you know if you've got this knife 
leave me a comment. If you don't have it and want it, look in the links, um, you know, in the comments or the description, whatever. But yeah, check these guys out. He does a great job. You can, he's got his own website, HoltzmanGorillaSurvival.com. Uh, and then you can find him on Amazon. I believe you can find him on Walmart. Dude's growing. Uh, great product. Check him out. And uh, that's all I got for you guys. I'm out. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>